Hello YouTube fans, here again. And it got me thinking this one. Got me thinking. When I was doing how I ate what in tomatoes, I saw this one on Doodle. I saw it on Doodle and it got me interested. And it was something that somebody made an article about just raging stuff the lost art. That's right, George Lucas, Stephen Spielberg's masterpiece. Does it hold up today? Does it hold up today? Now, on one of these, I was having a been looking at it because I was scared of what I was going to say. Because, you know, it's like I said when I was talking about what and tomatoes. What I was talking about was there's so many people who shag films off. And I know, I know, it's one of these. It's a mixed bag. There's some films I like, some people hate. But I had this fear that if I look at it, you get so many people shagging it off. It's like ages and ages ago, right? Ages and ages ago, I had a guy, I think it was on one of the channels, and I can't remember which one it was, one of them sort of videos I'd been doing a bit off, and it was insulting what's more as James Bond. I mean, it was some Pete and Utter shagging what's more off Watton. You know what I mean? It was shagging off Watton, the guy's no longer with us. Now, okay, some people might not like what's more. Some people might be full Sean Connery. Some people before words some more. Some people might even like Timothy Dalton. But this guy shagged him off that one. It's like, hey, 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 I don't like words some more. So you don't, you've not to like words some more and all. And it's like, fuck you, dickhead. And I went there. It's like, fuck you with a typical F. Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean you've got to push your agenda. And that's why I was stared at looking at this. But you know what? If people did shag it off and people had a field day, fuck them. I'm not. I still today, I still today love Rangers of the Lost Art. I don't give a shit how old it is. I don't give a shit when people think it's out of date. I don't give a shit when people say, yeah, 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 but you can do so much with CGI. Yeah, you can have monkeys bobbing around in the jungle like Indiana Jones and the Silver fucking Stull. You can have fucking CGI the aliens and CGI fucking rodents. Heads popping up and down. Give me a fucking break. Yeah, 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 but, 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 today people find rips just not up to date. Oh, and if you're going to insult that, then what about DC comic films? If I insult them now, people would have a fucking field day with me. Yeah, 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 but, but, serial comic heroes, who don't exist anymore. So fucking what? A Superman does. In real life, you see, you see a man flying around. Even though I love Superman, for I get love letters, and I have a mate who's a Superman fan. In real life, am I going to whip my fucking shirt off and turn into fucking Superman? Yeah, but, but it's not realistic. I watch films sometimes to get out of realism. If I want to be fucking depressed, I'll shoot myself. That is why serial comic films were made. I have fun doing that. But, but yeah, that's why I like serial comic films. And then George Lucas come up with that idea. When he come up with that idea, he wanted to get out of realism, whether it be Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, you know, guys having their hearts ripped out, people being ducked in fire, a fucking roller toaster ride, Indiana Jones and the last two saved. Yeah, there's a lot of fuck ups in it, but I love it. I like Sean Connery as Indy's dad. You know what I mean? You get the fucking family there and it's date, and I love it. And that's what I loved about the Indiana Jones films. And when you think about it, I never called Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Never called it that. Yeah, I called the other one Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Yeah, I called the one after that Indiana Jones and the Last Two Said. But originally, right, we all got fuck out of history lesson, man, not I'm on a rock and roller. Raiders of the Lost Ark was going to be its own standalone film, because at the time, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, even the Rockets are getting excited, right? There was half and half because this film going to be a success. Is it going to be a success? So they decided to make a standalone film and call it Rages of the Lost Dark. It was only as this went on, they opened it to Indiana Jones and Rages. To me, fuck it, it's Rages of the Lost Dark. And I love it, you know what I mean? I love it. I do know originally it was going to be Tom Serrick, but we all know the history. When I look at the history, why Tom Serrick never got the role. Alison Ford did. Look at the history there. We all know the TV series from the early 80s. Being Madden PI. 
and that was the reason why. And it's a shame because I'd love to see him from Serik and what he would have done. But I still like Alison Ford. It was a stepping stone for Alison Ford. I mean, Alison Ford, we all know him as Aunt Solo in the few Star Wars films, right? And so on. But this was his big break. This was his big break and it launched his career that he wasn't just Aunt Solo. He had another career now. And I love it. And what I loved about Vader's is I loved the big bit with the bowlers chasing him. I loved the bit where he's in the tube and you've got bodies everywhere. And his shoes that die ripped him off. He's got a spike on his forehead and spikes sticking out of his dugla. And when you think about it, it's a lot of film. Raiders of the Lost Art, in my fucking eyes, is a fucking horror film. And to be honest, people say it's outdated now. Fuck you. At the end of the fucking day, the end of the fucking day, I wish they make more films like that. Shoot me. No, I don't want to see the new one because I don't want to see more of the old man's doll. That's what put me off of Indiana Jones and the Distal Stull. I like the fact it was practical. You had a real life stunt man swinging on a fucking rope and hanging on a fucking tuck. A real life stunt man. Now, this computer shit, a real life fucking stunt man. A real life fucking stunt man. And in all fairness, that's something you're not going to see anymore, apart from some shouting as usual. That is something you are not going to see anymore. You are not going to see a real life stunt man with a rip. And in all fairness, this stunt man injured his legs. He injured his legs, and we all know he dieted and we do die hard with a Benson's. Same stunt man. Bit of history there for you. And that's what I loved about Raiders of the Lost Art. I loved the bit where they opened that big box and he got told, because I was in Silk Bollis Donson, because he looks like fucking told. And I loved the bit where they opened the art of the cover in it, and you've got the evil spirits. First, they look beautiful, and told makes the big mistake. He makes the mistake of all, he says, it's beautiful. And then it turns into that evil spirit, which I believe was a real woman, went underwater. That is how they did that effect. And on this computer shit, that was how they did that effect. I love the bit where Toad's face is melting. They would die his head, Baylock's head blows up. And his wrist, right? I wrist didn't put fire around his head because at the time Steven Spielberg wanted to make the film PT, he didn't want to make it an R rating. But fuck it, have his head blow up, don't have fucking fire covering it and rimping out. Go fucking full fucking hardcore and have his fucking head blow up, have his eyeballs fire out and blow up in your fucking face. Go fucking wild, why not? Why not? But I still like it. I do know a vision of the dice head goes cuffs, it goes. That's going to be more do some against Steven Spielberg, rimped out. I just thought, fuck it, make it dull. I love it. But I still like the scene. I like the effects, the evil spirits. And people say, well, nowadays, um, we don't have power like that. It's fucking history. It's German there. It will, believe it or not, was a man who was obsessed with power. It was like Russell. He's doing now. It was too pericotal. Where was the pericotalness? The only pericultus you had was Germans. You had Germans in it, like you had Germans in Indiana Jones and the last two said you had Germans in Raiders as well, right? And so we had to put it to people, but who wants to insult me on that one? But Hitler was into power. In real life, there was a real art with evil spirits that make people's heads fucking blow up and fire your fucking face and make your head cuss. In real life... Don't you think Hitler would have wanted something like that? Say fucking about and doing experiments on the poor Jewish people. He could just open a fucking box of evil spirits and fuck everybody up. But it's not realistic to life. I've heard that one. Heard it. And that's what made the film exciting. Not if, that's the trouble with today's films. Everything has got to be PC, PC friendly. And thinking that's what, I, what pisses me off, right? Like in Dan the Jones, in today's era, you're not going to see kids getting ripped. You're not going to see people's arts getting ripped out, kids getting ripped, all that. You're not going to see it because everything's too PC fucking friendly. PC friendly. It's been so many days since I've heard the F word in a fucking film. It's been so many days, you can't swear now, but apparently it's obsolete. And it pisses me off. And fuck it, I swear. 
Mine, I'll swear like a fucking sailor because you know what? I love films like Vegas of the Lost Art, and I don't think people say, well, it's out of date. So fucking what? So fucking what? At the end of the day, right? I will still watch Raiders over some of the shit you see nowadays. It was today, if I love the fact that it had a theme tune to it. We all know the theme tune. In the Zindana Tones films, we know it. And that's what made Indiana or Raiders of the Lost Art. It had that theme tune in all of them. I'm not going to do the Tistle still because that's shit. But I fucking loved the three Indiana Jones films. Yes, the dad would do spin-offs, whether it be King Solomon's Mind, whether it would be Romance in the Stone. And um, but I love it. I, love the, I even love the Indiana Jones rip-offs. And I risk in my eyes, I risk in my fucking eyes to make more films like this. I risk to make more films like Raiders, Gemple with Doom, King Solomon's Mind. Fuck it. Shoot me, I fucking do, I really do. People can have the DC comic, they can have the Marvel, they can have the Wonder Woman, they can have fucking Superman, they can have fucking Batman, they can have fucking Spider Man swinging on his fucking dingling. This is my hero. I do up what's in Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones. Shoot me, but I love it. I ain't gonna change my opinion for people that don't like it. There's lovers out there and there's haters, and I love Indiana Jones. Do what what's in him. Do what what's in him. And that's why I love Raiders of the Lost Art. I do think Raiders of the Lost Art. I love all the Indies anyway. Fuck it. I love Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I think it's Bowser. It's damn same. We don't make films like that anymore. He had an edge. You got kids getting ripped. They don't want to be cool to kids. But in all sense, it's a film. You got guys getting the fucking heart ripped out. More in the uncut one. More traffic. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, of the Father and Son's Bonding, Sean Connery, May he Rest in Peace. I like Alison Ford, I love that one. Damn Dud Fencer film. But the one that I think started it all off is Rages of the Lost Star. I think it's still a good film. I still think it stands up today. People don't think it does, then we have to be digging Dissity. In my eyes, I love Raiders. Still love it today. Even after this, what's it now? Because no doubt they'll be fucking shit on. I do know what's that than what's I'm a Bilepity. Get me out of here and what's my snotty Hancock with his fucking cock on his head. I do know what's Indy with his rip any day of the fucking week. But, you know, I'm not having a go at people. If you're suiting us all, no, I'm not. I'm only suiting the ones who might think, well, Indy's shit to me. That's fair enough. You've got your opinion. I've got mine, and I still love Indy. For people that love Indy today, power to you. I love Indy. It's a damn shame we don't make more films like that. I felt in 1981, it was a buff its time. Yeah, they made serial comic films before that. I know, I know. But it was. Piss me off from BBC that when they put it on in the morning, they cut half of it fucking out. Why they put it on just late? Why they put it on late? Oh, wait, still kids. They put it on fucking late. And then you can sew it all with its uncut fucking jewellery. I love Raiders. There's no fault with Raiders. I love all of them. I just said it. Rewind back. Rewind back what I said. But yeah, other than that, I still love Raiders. And for the one that insulted what's more as James Bond, it's your appearance. But there's that saying, some people need to keep their appearance to themselves. Because I actually like what's more as Bond. Same as I like Connery as Bond. So fuck you with a topical F. And there's one tomatoes. You you suck and dim when you fuck off. <laughs> Just with Gus going with rotten tomatoes, so people want to know what I think of that. But other than then, be smart, be safe, we'll do more movies, more movie views on the way, and more politics on the way. So into them, be smart, be safe. See you later.